fun playing the guitar. Uh, you might be wondering, why are you playing the guitar when this is a painting show? Uh, well, the idea is, uh, it's simple. It's a simple song. It's, it's mostly three chords. There's a G thrown in there occasionally. But a lot of really good songs are only three, uh, three chords. And just like painting, it doesn't need to be that complex. It doesn't need to be overthought. So today I'm going to make a painting that's just three colors. Uh, and you can decide whether or not you like the painting, but basically the idea is to just have fun with painting and take out some of the mystery. So let's go to the studio and have some fun. To get started on this painting, uh, the first thing I did was make a stencil. And stencil work has become pretty popular, so if you don't know how to make a stencil, there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube and you can figure that out. Now uh, this painting, if you like this painting, I'm going to give it away on my website. and. I think it will be to a random comment or something like that. Uh, it's not quite figured out yet, but hopefully by the time this video goes up on Sunday, it will be. Um, now, just before I start painting the material that I'm using, I'm painting on a hot pressed 100% rag paper, 100 pound rag paper. And the difference between a hot pressed paper and a cold pressed paper is a hot pressed paper has a smooth surface and a cold pressed paper has a bumpy surface it's often referred to as having a lot of tooth. So uh, I guess that's it, let's get started. I'll start by taping the stencil in place and I've cut the paper that I'm going to make the painting on the same size as the stencil and then I'll tape it into place so it doesn't move around. This lone flower here I don't want to move either so I'm going to put a little tape right in the back of it. And now I'll take a little bit of the paint here and spread it around on this cardboard. And next I'll try to get just a, an even amount on the roller, not too much. And sometimes you can roll it off the roller if it feels like it's a little bit too much on, the, on there. And then I can come over to the stencil and start to roll out. Try not to move the stencil as I roll the paint on. Now I can remove the stencil, but I'll have to be careful for this one flower with the tape underneath it. I want to bring a little more color into the painting. So I'm going to paint the vase here blue and the daffodils yellow, but I want a very hard line where the vase meets the paper. So I'm going to tape this off with a little frog tape. Kind of funny how much just that yellow tape changed the painting. So that's the, uh, that's the good thing about working a lot. You get to see things and they can affect your next decisions. Okay, well now that the blue is done, I'll move on to painting in these daffodils with a little yellow. It doesn't have to be that perfect. And I'll use a blow dryer to speed up the drying process. And this is always the fun part for me is taking the tape off and getting that nice clean line. Okay, well that didn't take very long and I had a lot of fun making the painting. I hope you got something out of the video. I think uh, maybe the one takeaway is the, the hot pressed paper being a smooth surface as opposed to a cold press being a, a bumpy surface. Uh, I think the thing with painting is you really just gotta sometimes just break it down and have fun with it. Sometimes it's, it's good just to mix some color up to paint the sky. Uh, there's no need to get too complicated and, and that's why I was playing the guitar earlier. I think a lot of really good songs are, you know, that whole three chord, uh, that three chord story like the Ramones, you know, or they know three chords. Uh, but anyway, thanks for tuning in. Oh, if you want to win this again, go to johnpeters.com and uh, hopefully there'll be some useful information that will tell you how to, uh, you know, I think it's going to be like a random comment or something like that. 
Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next week.